guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Welcome to another first impression video. I've, I feel like I haven't done a first impression in so long, but literally it's only been like, what, a few weeks? I don't know. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be um, trying out the new Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder in the shade Medium Deep. Uh, this Laura Mercier came out with this shade a while ago, like a few months ago, but I wasn't able to get it because I live on the other side of the world. I live in Australia. But recently, um, I found it on eBay and I was really excited and I just jumped at it and I got it. By the way, this is legit. I did check. I didn't buy a fake one. So yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really excited. I do have the other translucent powder in translucent, but this is medium deep. So yay for Laura Mercier for bringing out a shade for us women of color. I absolutely love yeah, it. So it's supposed to give you a sheer coverage and um, give you a matte finish and blur the looks and blur fine line and your imperfection. So same as the regular Laura, um, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but I just really want to see the um, I, I really want to see the outcome of it on my face. So let's just test it out, shall we? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it under my eye first on one side, just to kind of see, you know, yeah, just to kind of see, just to see. So as you can see, like the shade of the powder is quite brown. Okay. <laughs> I can't even see it, but I can see it. <laughs> hmm. I need a close-up. Okay, wow, yeah. Can you see it? I hope the camera is really picking it up. But as you can see, like this side looks a bit more matte now, a bit more set than this side. So obviously, obviously this powder on the my eye. So this is really good. This is just, just matches my skin beautifully. So because this powder is really, really, my skin tone i'm gonna go ahead and use it to set the entire one side of my face just to kind of see what will happen okay and i'm curious to see if this contour shade is still going to stay true or if this powder is going to mask it <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> all right so that's the powder applied look at that look at the powder right there Wow, guys, this is so nice. This is literally so nice. So as you can see, the contour shade is still right there. So it kind of blurs it a little bit, but it doesn't entirely mask it. We're going to use this to set all over your face. Guys, this is this is amazing. I really, really like this. I really, really do. It's, it's still kind of giving me a black opal vibe though. Should I do a comparison? Should I? I think I want to. There's a difference between both powders because the Laura Mercier is made to be a translucent powder and the Black Opal is a normal powder, it's not a translucent powder. But the Black Opal can still be a dupe for the Laura Mercier, but you just need to remember that the Black Opal is not translucent and the Laura Mercier is. So if you're looking for the finish of a translucent powder, you're not really going to get it as much with the Black Opal, but you're going to get it with the Laura Mercier powder. Yeah. Would I recommend this powder? Yes, I would. Simply because of the finish of it and the natural coverage to it. But if you're one of those people who really, really like the highlights, like really highlight look, which I do as well, and on some days I really do. But if you like those, that kind of finish, this is not for you. But this will be great to use before your foundation to promote the longevity of your fan, of your makeup. Just like the look translucent, the regular translucent powder. It will also be great to set your foundation on all over your face specifically for my women of color out there okay you'll be great for those things but if you want like a heavy or not heavy I'm not gonna say heavy heavy is a, is a strong word if you want a, a popping highlighted look you might want to go in with another powder or perhaps maybe mix it with the translucent powder because I've seen a lot of people do that I believe my girl Mrs. did that as well I'm not really quite sure or maybe she did the comparison I don't know, I know someone did. I've seen a lot of videos and I've seen a lot of people mix it with the regular translucent powder. So I'm br I'm gonna test that out later as well. And if you're interested, I might update the description box when I do, okay? So that's it for me, from me guys. So, I didn't mean to turn this video into a comparison, guys, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, simply, simply let me know in the comment section down below. And I have another powder I wanna test out as well. It's the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Warm Saffron so yeah I can't wait to test that out as well my skin looks so good I love it it looks really really good and it feels good as well all right whatever you do remember to love yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video bye
should take